Hi, welcome back to our discussion about recovering from divorce. Today I want to take just a few minutes to talk about loneliness. Um, and actually this is a discussion that really could apply no matter what your season of life is, whether you're walking through a separation or a divorce or are in the middle of a crowd. Loneliness is something we struggle with and I think that you know, as we're recovering from a divorce, that it's really magnified by the fact that we're feeling so rejected, not just by our ex-spouse and ex-family, but also friends and the church, people in the church, who just don't know what to do with you now that you are divorced. And so I think maybe being alone, not just loneliness, but feeling so alone is one of the things we have to fight against the most. It can land us in a pit deeper and faster than probably anything else. Um, be just because we feel so left out and uninvited and you know that can start us down a whole path of just self negative self-talk that takes us nowhere. Um, and so a couple of thoughts I had here um, yes, we were created for relationships, and that's why we crave n not being alone. We crave being in relationships with the people around us. However, there's so much opportunity in this space, right here, alone, in the quiet, just you and God against the world, for God to do some things in your heart that make you be a better friend in the end. You know, it gives him a chance to work out some of those hard edges. It forces you to look at unforgiveness or bitterness or selfishness and pride, any of those things of your own heart that are easy to ignore or to gloss over or to blame someone else for when you're in relationship with somebody. Um, and so all of the, those things that you work on, that you look at, that you're forced to reckon with in this alone time, actually make you a better friend in the end. And that's an important part of your healing. Um, another thing to remember as you're trying to learn how to just process the pain and the loneliness in a God-honoring way, is that everyone is on their own journey, especially on their own journey with God. And, you know, you can't control anything um, that they think about you. They, you can't control how they respond to you. You can't even control what they're told about you. If they choose to walk away from you and not walk alongside you, they're missing out both on watching what God is doing in you and they're missing out on being a blessing to you. And it gives you opportunity to pray for them. Um, because God is still doing something, even in their lives. They're on their own journey. And so they're struggling with their own things and probably just don't know how to be God, be Christ to you, because they don't want to have to walk through where you're walking more often than not. You probably feel so desperate to defend your name and to defend yourself and to just defend who you are, because something in that helps us feel like the wrongs have been righted and that we're in good standing with the people around us. But the fact of the matter is, when it comes down to it, your role here is just to continue to do good. First Peter 2.15 tells us that it's God's will that you continue to do good so that you silence the ignorant talk of foolish men. So really, put all of your energy into just taking that next right set, step, even in the middle of feeling alone and let God use this time to heal you and um, just to be a light to the people around you, to be an example to the people around you of how God can be your all. You're not left out and uninvited. God has a purpose and a plan for you even now as you're in this space of, of healing, of trying to find your own centeredness of trying to find a sense of who you are God is working in the middle of all of that and on the other side of this you'll be a better friend you'll be a better um, light and a testimony and the power of God's Holy Spirit in you will just shine out to the people around you and that's where 
You are our fulfillment and your peace and your joy and your sense of being part of a bigger picture will come from. So those are my thoughts for today. Um, being alone is not bad. There's so much to learn in that process, to learn in that space. Um, so embrace it for what it is and let the people around you be on the journey that they're on. Um, still be a conduit of grace and mercy to them. Um, but don't take on their angst or their rejection or their even the words they say against you that are not truth. Don't take on any of that as truth. Just live your life and live it well and let God heal you in this space. So those are my thoughts for today. I am so glad that you took a moment to stop by. I hope that I've been encouraging to you. If you have any other questions or comments or just would like some help trying to figure out how to process the pain and the loneliness, give us a call. We would love to walk alongside you. Um, our contact information will be at the end of this, and um, we'd love to talk with you. Thanks. Have a good day.